Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a 500 mile overview on the Bikeberry 49cc 4 stroke motorized bicycle. So we just currently hit 500 miles on this bad boy and she's running great. So I'm going to go over all the stuff that I have done to it, how it's running, what has failed on it, and yeah, so let's get into it. Thank you for tuning in as always. Make sure to leave a like, smash the subscribe button, and comment down below. I appreciate it. Peace. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to show you the mods that I did to this bike. The coaster brake did fail on it, so you really don't want that on these things because uh, they're not good, just put it that way. So I took off the rear I took off the rear wheel and I removed the coaster brake part out of the rear wheel hub down there, so now it's just a free uh wheel so you can pedal backwards now with it. As well as forwards, so yeah. Okay. And then another our latest mod that we did do it, the kit came with a 44 tooth sprocket from Bikeberry. And I recently just replaced it, as you can tell by the grease on the bike frame. I replaced it with a 36 tooth. So it has a 36 tooth on it right now. And stock speed was 25 miles an hour with the 44 tooth. Now with the 36 tooth, it is currently 30 miles per hour stock speed. So that is great. And back to where I was on the coaster brake fail, I installed these sunlight hand brakes <clears throat> so those work great as you can tell it's starting to peel off the paint on the rims which no worries with that they're doing their job they work great so they're good brakes and then another mod that i recently just did to it was i changed the fuel filter and this is a fuel line that did not come with the kit i replaced the fuel line Replaced the fuel filter, both failed on me, cracked, the dried up, broke and leaked the fuel out of the fuel line, the stock stuff. And then fuel filter melted and quit working, so yeah. So there's the back brakes on this bike too as well. And then um, I recently just uh, painted the cover on the motor. It's originally black, so I spray painted it red and polar as well and then I took the air filter cover off cut out a nice rectangle square for better airflow and painted that red as well so yeah and then I got these nice GoPro stickers on here you can put whatever you want on your tank but that's what I put on mine so yeah the bike also comes with the Switz Cruise bike also comes with a really nice comfortable seat. So you're not going to get a sore butt on the rides because it's really nice. And another thing I recently did to the bike is I removed the front fender because they're pretty dangerous. So unless you have them reinforced and they so that they won't rub on your tire. Like as you can see this line on the tire right there. That was from the front fender. fender so I removed that. So yeah and then the back one I just cut out like so for the chain. So I won't hit it. And the back one I left on so it kind of doesn't throw up a bunch of... <clears throat> Sorry about that. Doesn't throw up a bunch of water on the motor and that. So yeah, I'll leave the back one on for now. And if you do hit puddles, it doesn't throw all the mud up on your back as much. So yeah. <laughs> and then another thing that I added on to this thing was this rack. This is from a Sahu e-bike. So I made up this metal bracket. Aluminum bracket, I just covered it with uh, tape and then I bent it to fit it onto the bike. And then, yeah, I can use that to haul whatever I want on it. So, yeah, it works good. I put a little reflective sticker on it. So, yeah, the back tire, the wear is pretty good on it. So far, after 400 miles, I mean, it is wearing down quite a bit, as you can see compared to the sides of the tire, to the center. I mean, <clears throat> it is decent though. I don't think I'll have to get another, a new tire for quite a while yet, so yeah. 
And then it has this uh, kickstand down there. One of the rubber grips fell off on the bottom, like that one. Right here it is. But yeah, I added that center kickstand down to there. And yeah, works good. The fender is currently only mounted with uh, bolts right here. Zip ties down there and zip ties right there because the bolts rattle and they fall out. So yeah, you want to make sure you securely secure it so that it doesn't go flying. And this is how I bent my chain guard brackets to mount it. Just mounted it down to the bottom engine plate and right there. And talking about the bottom engine plate, it did break so we had to weld it. So there it is, nicely welded. Broke right there. So yeah, and I also painted the exhaust so it has changed colors now. And I took the baffle out, the bottom cap. I removed this cap, took the baffle out. It's like a rod like this big, yay big. You can check it out on one of my channel on my channel on one of my videos I have removing it. Anyways, I cut it off and now it has better flow and makes a little bit more noise, but yeah. And then here's this bracket engine mounting bracket I made up and so the muffler doesn't rattle too much and or if it gets hit it doesn't break the head bolts off of the uh, head of the motor another thing i did was i removed the engine plate heat shield on it which i didn't think was necessary because in all actuality it just keeps the heat inside and doesn't allow the cooling fins on the motor to breathe better so now it breathes more freely and it can release that access heat so the motor will stay cooler and then another thing i had to do was i had to add a we had to tap out the head of the motor because one of the bolts that came with the kit, beware, they're very soft metal, so on the uh, exhaust manifold, one of them we had to tap out uh, the threads in that, and then we changed the bolt to a bit bigger. So you have to be careful with those because it's very soft uh, bolts, the Chinese bolts, so I recommend upgrading before you do anything with that. But yeah, then we have this meal in. Uh, back light for it i don't know if it's charged i haven't charged in a while we'll go ahead and see oh yep there it is turns right on so it's a very nice light you can see the features on it i really like it it also has turn signals so yeah it's a very cool light and here's the remote for it so you have your turn signals hazard and then laser you have your laser lanes that come out you know shows the lane the bike or whatever so yeah it's cool and then what else do we have on here one thing i like about this kit is the fuel tank is quite a bit bigger so that's nice can accommodate more fuel then we have this sigma 500 bicycle computer we added on to it and we're currently at 500 400 miles 24 hours and three minutes of riding time 400 total miles it's 226 currently in florida so yeah and then we have this light right here that i added on also as a headlight as well as that one they both work great this one had a horn on it as well but then here's the button control but the horn recently quit working a little while ago so yeah then i added this huffy cup holder to carry your drinks or whatever place your phone or whatever in it so yeah it's nice but yeah, one of the upgrades that I have done to this bike is the 36 tooth sprocket, and I really totally recommend doing that. It is very nice, and it's a nice feature to have over the 44 tooth sprocket, because you do get 5 miles per hour increase in speed, and you do not lose too much torque, I've noticed. So yeah. And then also with my um, chain tensioner, it is holding up pretty well, so that is good. And yeah, I did tweak it a little bit. I bent it slightly so that it would drive the chain the straight way, the correct way. So yeah, but other than that, this kit has been working great for me. And you can purchase one just like this one at bikeberry.com. I think I paid a little over uh, $400. I think like $450, 400 almost $500 for this. For this kit but like I said there's a lot of add-ons the rack change the fuel filter line 
this is add on this is an add on this is an add on add on add on add on add on the handbrakes are add ons and yeah the center kickstands add on those are nice so you can kind of work on your bike like that and yeah i did also modify the chain guard cut it out to accommodate the rear brakes so the rear brakes don't hit the chain guard I do recommend putting that on a lot. A lot of people don't put their chain guards on, but I like to so it doesn't tear apart your leg or something if the chain were to release or something. So yeah, it's a nice feature to have as well. But it's a Switz Cruise Bicycle Beach Cruiser, and it's totally, like it says right there, freedom inspired. So I hope you guys enjoyed my 400 mile overview review of my bikeberry 49 cc four stroke motorized bicycle today so stay tuned for uh, more videos on my channel make sure to subscribe and leave a like on the video and i appreciate the comments much appreciate the comments down below so nice to have you guys tuning into my channel as always thank you for all the support and tuning in and i'll see you in the next video peace out y'all have a nice day Road to 1K and subscribe!